Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video we're looking at another mining ship and this one is called the Excavus Class Miner which is this lovely thing right here. So this is a fairly small quite compact large block miner for you to go out and about and mine asteroids or even go and try to dig up Prestige resources on a planet. Pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, there it is. This thing is 216 large blocks using none of the DLC pack items. I've got a nice bit of information about it written here, so we'll just give it a thumbs up and move all the way around to the very front. So coming all the way down over to here, this is what we get. Front and center, we got a very small interior where we could see a flight seat to control this thing. Surrounding that, we got some lovely yellow blocks with a few hydrogen thrusters to help us stop. With a small spotlight, so you can peer into those dark asteroids and see exactly what you're getting. To the left and the right of that, we got our mining drills. And then as we move around the side here, we're going to see a small walkway where I'm standing made out of some unfinished catwalks. As we continue around the side there, we've got a connector to load and unload stuff onto this ship. And then as we continue all the way along, we can see a doorway to get inside. We can see a, a little bit of our survival kit just poking out right there. A hydrogen engine to make sure this has got power. A button panel to control various things around the ship. And even more hydrogen thrusters. As we move all the way around to the very back, this is what's going to push us along. One large hydrogen thruster, and that's been surrounded by some lovely white and yellow blocks, with a small blast or edge with interior pillar poking out for some additional decoration. As we move up and above here, this is what we get. Some more hydrogen thrusters, some good use of the piston head just to cover up the connection point on the hydrogen tank, a parachute hatch just in case things go horribly wrong while entering a planet. Then moving towards the front there, we've got a few batteries and a lone interior turret, to protect you from those pesky drones. As we move down and underneath past our drills, this is what we get down here. Some more hydrogen thrusters. We can see the bottoms of our conveyors thanks to those unfinished blocks which are very nicely done. And continue along there, there's the bottom of our beacon. There's a gravity generator, a few gyroscopes next to our oxygen tanks, a LCD screen with a little warning label, a air vent just to suck in oxygen from your surroundings just to refill those tanks up, and a, another lone interior turret just to help with any rear-facing enemies. So coming all the way back around to here, that was a very brief around the outside, and it does look great with how it's all been set up. Very industrial with its look. So now I'm just going to take control of my character, standing right here, and we're just going to walk along. We're just going to come over to this part right here, where we've got a connector, which will connect up to a station, and we can just walk on and off, hopefully if it's set up correctly. Coming around past our auction tank, we've got a button panel, where we can control our air vent to pressurize on and off, our parachute hatch to auto deploy on and off, our gravity generator on and off, and our beacon on and off, which is sitting right below the ship. Moving around and coming through the doorway, we've got a little bit in here. It's not airtight, so you will need to rely on the survival kit behind you to top up your oxygen levels. So there we go. And then just coming through this doorway, we'll just come to this part, because it's slightly different than the opposite side. Got another bottom panel for our hydrogen engine on and off, hydrogen engine number two on and off, our basic refinery on and off, and then another basic refinery on and off once again. And this side is exactly the same with its little catwalks. So there we go. Coming back into here, we then got our flight seat to fly this thing around. In the first person view, this is what we get. So we've got quite a limited view going forward, so it might be a good idea to maybe strap a camera somewhere on this. Maybe on the sides as well, just in case you're doing some very deep mining and you need to reverse out. But as for that, we can come over to here, press number one, and then we can take control over our drills. Number two is to toggle the drills auto on and off, so doing that we can take our hands off our mouse, and they'll just do whatever. Number three is for our hydrogen thrusters all the way around the ship, bar the large one at the back there, so switching them off, there we go. And then switching number four off, there we go once again. Turning them all back on. Five and six is for our hydrogen engines to toggle them on and off. Seven and eight is for our connectors on our left and right hand side to lock and unlock them. And number nine is manual control over our front facing interior turret. Tab number two, three and four is empty. So it's now time to fly this thing around. So moving forwards, this is what we get. We've got some great speeds thanks to that lone large hydrogen thruster. 
and stopping as well is very good. And we do have enough maneuverability with our mouse that if we were too heavy and we weren't stopping at a reasonable rate, we can do an easy 180 and rely on our large thruster. Moving left and moving right, we've got some fantastic speed with that. Going down and then going up, we've got some fantastic speed with that. And a lot more speed going up, which is great, especially when you're on a planet and full of resources. And like I said, moving my mouse around, we've got a lot of control over this. There's not really any weight whatsoever with this, so it is a little bit floaty, but it's fine when you're driving a mining ship that's going to be gathering a lot of heavy resources. But as for the mining itself, we'll come over to this very convenient asteroid and we're going to start mining it up. So we're just going to toggle it on and we're going to slam it straight into it. There we go. And hopefully we'll have some lights. We might need to just do change the sun all the way around to get a better view. That'll do. And we'll just do mine straight forwards. And there we go. That is our absolute limit. So if we want to make a bigger hole, we will need to use our right mouse button. And we should be able to get a pretty big area into here. There we go. It's just going to be that little turret on top, which is going to prove a bit of a problem. So it's going to be more of a surface miner than a deep core. But if you're not okay with it, we can always come over to here. Find some more conveyors. Let's just go like this. There we are. We'll just raise this up once more. Let's go like that. Add in a, another drill. And that should be good enough to give you clearance when using your right mouse button to make a tunnel to make sure that turret doesn't get damaged. So coming back into here and turning towards the asteroid once again, we'll just come up to this part and we'll start right mousing. And there we go. We can now just go all the way through this asteroid without risking damaging the stuff on top. Yes, we've got to come into here and take a look at our inventories. So over here, there's our storage. We've got a large cargo container sitting inside here and a bunch of small cargo containers. And of course, we've got our drills, which can store a hefty amount by themselves. So we can store quite a lot of resources on here and take it back to base or even just have this thing refine everything up while you're making your way over there. But as for that, that is basically it for the Excavus class miner. It's a very nice little thing to fly around and to gather up resources if you don't want to make one yourself. So as per usual, there'll be a link to it in the description below, and I'll be back with another video sometime soon. Bye bye.